Hello and thanks for joining. Today's topic is going to be the very first Excel 2013 tutorial and what I wanted to share with you today is just do a quick ribbon overview of how to get acclimated using the ribbon and some other options and customize, um, customizable options there. I wanted to point out that all these tutorials will be posted on my website which is www.10minutetrain.com Here's my YouTube channel and here is a couple of other links that, that uh, may be of interest to you. Finally, I uh, wanted to point out these tutorials will always be posted for free. So when you first launch Excel 2013, you probably get a page that looks something like this. You'll get some options over here of opening up an existing template or opening up a blank workbook. And if you're already using Excel, you should have over on the left probably recent files. Uh, that, uh, you've, that you've worked on. So we're going to go ahead and launch into the blank workbook. And what I want to point talk about today is just getting started in the in Excel 2013. So I'm going to talk about the ribbon. And the ribbon is this section up here with all these tabs up here like home, insert, page layout, formulas, and so forth. Uh, what I want to point out is each one of these tabs is really just a category. So the home category is where you'll find commonly used formatting, sorting, for, you know, um, uh, and some basic formulas, uh, text alignment, things like that. So, and when you go under these options, you'll notice over here, um, a lot of them, anything that has an arrow below it, if you click it, you'll have sub options underneath it. There is that underneath each little section, you'll have the little um, expansion here, or the little air, uh, arrow heading down towards the right. If you click that, it will open up all the options for this section here. So font, as an example, if I click that, it'll bring up the font options, but you'll have all the formatting options here. So you don't have to limit yourself to just working within these few options here. You can go into here, and it will bring up you know format numbers, format alignment, format, format font, and so forth. So all of those sections you notice have that. Some of these are pretty self-explanatory, so when you go to insert, that's where you would insert things like illustrations, tables, charts, other documents, page layouts where you'd um, edit the page layouts, change the views, um, formulas where you'd go find commonly used formulas like financial or recently used or you know math formulas. Data is a um, data is where you would go and work with data from other sources like for example import from text um, you do different data um, use different data tools such as what if analysis consolidation grouping and we're going to talk about all these in future um, tutorials review is where you would do things like review the document protect it um, proof it the source spelling um, even language translation view is where you do different things like view you know change your view options, freeze the panes, and we're going to talk about these in future um, tutorials. Developer you may not have on yours, and what developer is, is when, once you add the developer tab in the ribbon, you'll have development options here. And so I'm going to show you how to add that in a minute. And then this test tab is, uh, is something I just added as part of a test, and I'll show you how to do that. So this is something that I customized. And we'll talk about the team tab in a future in a future uh, tutorial. And then under the file button here, or file um, option, you'll notice over here, so you've got several things here. You've got, this is where you would go do things like open a new, um, a new worksheet. You'd open an existing sheet, you'd save, you'd print. And then also if you go down here to options, when you go into options, I want to talk about the customize the ribbon. So you've got all those options within the ribbon but if you want to you can go in here and customize these so for example I went in here and check developer I'm gonna uncheck developer and that's gonna now be removed I went in here and created a new group called test and how you do that you just click on new group you name the group and then you go down here and you add options to it like for example if I want to do um, format cells I could put it in that group the whole idea of this, of customizing this, um, adding a new tab for yourself, is if you want to uh, put, combine all of your frequently accessed um, options and features into one group so you don't have to hop, hop around. 
So it's a nice feature, probably not that many people use it, but I do want to point it out. That's how you do that. And in this case, I'm going to go ahead and I am going to right click it and I am going to remove it. And now I'm going to say OK. So now I've unchecked the developer box. And there you see that now my test group is gone and my developer group is gone. The other thing that I wanted to share with you is this um, option up here. So up in the very top left, you should have a few icons here. And this, this is called the Quick Access Toolbar. So what this is, is you can throw up here, you can throw up some commonly accessed features and options that you use. Like for example, this is um, the save, the save um, button, this is print, this is undo, and this is redo. So if, um, if I click here, I can click Customize Quick Access Toolbar. And if I go into there, I can do things like I can add, let's say I always want spelling up there. I can go ahead and add spelling. The other thing I can do is click there and I can say um, more commands. And then here, I can go over here and if I want to add filter in the quick access toolbar or whatever other options I want, I can just click down here, you highlight it, and you single click it and then click the add button. And there you have it. See, now I have the filter option there. Okay, so that's how you modify the quick access toolbar. And one other thing that I want to share with you down here on the bottom right is you have options to zoom in and out. So if you want to make the page larger or smaller, that's how you do that. You can click there. And that's what I want to share with you today. What I want to do moving forward in the next tutorial, I'm going to show you a basic spreadsheet. And then we're going to get into more advanced topics from there. So thanks for joining. Take care.